Hey, this is Justin, you're watching wingsound.com. So you have some audio that you've chopped up and it doesn't sound so smooth when you play it through. So what I'm gonna do is show you in Pro Tools 8 how to use fades and crossfades to get your transitions real smooth. Okay, so to get to your fades, you want to have your smart tool enabled and all you have to do is drag your cursor up to the top corner of your region and there's your there's your fade icon so all you have to do is click and drag as far as you want it to be and there's your fade now if you want to adjust that fade you could do command F and there it shows you your fade and the audio in retrospect to that fade you could preview that You can make the audio bigger just so you could see it better visually. You could change the, this is a standard curve. And all you have to do is click on the blue, blue line and drag it around to adjust how you want your fade to be. And you could see the, the, the regions, the audio region that has the fade. You could see it's being adjusted as you move it. And you could change it to an S curve. And it's also, you know, different way of fading out or you could click here and choose um, a set line that you want to make for your curve you can't adjust those you can't and you could also choose the slope if you want it to be equal gain or equal power and then just hit ok and there it is and if you want to delete it you can go to edit fades delete or just highlight the fade area and hit delete and then if you also want to adjust that region later, you stick with the smart tool and go to the middle of your audio region and you see this bracket show up right next to the fade. And you want to keep the brackets facing like this because the other way is going to clip the region, the audio. And you don't want that. You just want to adjust your fade. So keep the bracket facing this way, facing with the opening to the right. And you just click on that and then you could drag it and then you adjusted your fade and made it longer or you can make it shorter whatever you want to do and that would sound like this great you know it's great for fading out songs you don't have to do automation you could just do a quick fade and you're done now you can also do another thing where if you have your cursor, let's say in the beginning somewhere and you click over here, you can go to edit fades and fade to start or at option D and it'll fade wherever you have your cursor set to the start of the audio region and you as well, you can adjust that too. And then you could also do it with the ending of your audio region. So wherever you put your cursor, and then you go to edit fades fade to end which would be option G or you can just hit option G and it creates the fade to end really fast makes it makes you speed things up real well so you got your fade in and you fade out now I'm gonna show you cross fades so I took the same audio track and I just cut it up a little bit. As you can see, it's three different audio regions. And I want to fade. I want to cross fade so it just makes the transitions between those audio regions a little smoother. So same thing with the smart tool. Just go to the end of one region and the beginning of the other where the two regions connect. And, oh, and you'll see your cross fade icon show up. And do the same thing, click and drag, and it creates your crossfade. And you could do the same thing, delete them, adjust them, command F if you want to adjust them, however you need to, to fit your song. And there you go. You can always get in touch with Justin at winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at winksound.com.